thank you so much for tuning in once again. Today we're doing a 2023 ship tour of the Allure of the Seas. If you enjoy what you see, please like and subscribe, it means a lot. If you're wondering about the secret deck for the Allure of the Seas, it's on deck 14 Ford. Secret deck is where you can get the best views when you're leaving port. Deck 15 Ford is where you'll find the Solarium. It is Illure's adult-only retreat. The Solarium does feature a small bistro which offers complimentary brunch-style food during the morning and lunch hours. During the evening hours, it becomes a specialty dining venue. The majority of Deck 15 is made up of huge hot tubs that accommodate multiple parties of people, as well as large swimming areas for children and families alike. If for whatever reason you forget or just simply didn't bring goggles or snorkel, there's no need to worry, everything is provided on board as well. Deck 16 in the aft is where you'll find two flow riders, one for bodyboarding and the other for surfing. Guests staying in suites on the Allure will have access to Coastal Kitchen, which is a special dining area just for them. The boardwalk on deck 6 in the aft section of the ship, you'll find multiple restaurants, shops, and entertainment. Great for the family.
One thing you'll have an abundance of on the Allure are donuts. They provide them fresh every morning at multiple locations as well as the boardwalk. The quality of shows on board the Allure of the Seas is absolutely stunning. I do recommend putting your reservations in the first day you board, as they do fill up really quickly. Central Park is where you're going to find the majority of the specialty dining restaurants, including Giovanni's Kitchen, 150, and Chops Grill. In addition to specialty dining, you'll also find Vintages, a wine bar where you can try multiple types of wine. Park Cafe is one of your complimentary options, great for grab-and-go food and snacks. Yeah. 
specialty dining can be reserved and fill up fast, so I do recommend putting reservations in sooner than later once you're on board the ship and you know where you want to go. Dazzles is a lounge and entertainment venue at night where multiple activities and shows take place. Looking to work off some of the pounds from all the food? No problem, there is a spa on board and a fitness center. There's also the Vitality Cafe, which serves healthy drinks and options. One cool feature about the gym is there's direct access to the jogging track there. On top of being a great place to grab a drink, the schooner bar is a great place to participate in trivia activities. Deck 6 is also home to the excursions counter where you can plan your events on land, as well as the area where you can pick up photos that were taken throughout your trip. Deck 5 is the Royal Promenade and essentially the heart of the ship where you'll find most venues. Polaris is a Latin themed nightclub on board the ship where there's salsa dancing, merengue, and bachata at night. Yeah. 
the Rentos. It goes without saying it's one of the most popular spots on the board as they do serve pizza by the slice, or you can grab an entire pizza, whichever your preference, and it is all complimentary. Cafe Promenade is a great place to grab a pastry or a complimentary sandwich. They have items available throughout the day. The only thing that has a slight nominal cost are some of the specialty coffee drinks. On air is the ship's official sports bar, and it's the place to go if you're afraid of missing any games while you're away from home. Entertainment is Studio B, which features ice shows. They also open up for free skate during the week. Casino Royale is the ship's official casino, and smoking is not allowed just as an update. Amber Theater serves as a huge venue where you'll see Broadway shows, specialty acts and comedians, and throughout the day, they also play movies here as well.
If you enjoy live music and jazz, Jazz on 4 is a great venue to visit at night. The Allure of the Seas has three main dining rooms, American Icon Grill, Silk, and the Grande. You'll find which restaurant you're assigned to on your sale card. The Windjammer Marketplace is Royal Caribbean's official buffet area. There's a huge emphasis on cleanliness and hand washing, which I love. They're very serious about keeping everyone healthy. For your own travel arrangements, feel free to contact the Travel Box International. We'll be more than happy to set up your accommodations and your travel arrangements from start to finish. Thank you again so much for tuning in. I'm wishing everyone safe travels. <laughs>